As my apologies, I'm back. Um, this is part two in regards to why men cheat. Um, I left off in regards to my personal story. So I dated a girl back in four, back in high school for four years, um, and we were looking to get together for our one month, one month anniversary. Woo! I know, big deal, right? But um, something had came up, and she couldn't. Her mother wouldn't let her meet up with me, um, and I was new to this relationship. Um, this is a girl I was talking to her for three months to even get the courage to ask her out. Um, and I actually asked her out. I felt so comfortable with this girl. This is my new, my first relationship, you know. I actually felt so comfortable um, dating her that I actually asked her out um, at a, in a church parking lot. Because in my mind at that time, I wanted the, it to someday be relevant. Like, oh, I asked you out at a person, at a, at a, I asked you out at a church to eventually marry you at a church. But all that didn't work out. Life goes on. Cheerio. yo. Cup of tea. Blah. Huh. But dated her for, for, for four years. And on our one month, she couldn't come up and meet up with me. And I was talking to a girl um, I had recently met. Had, honestly, I had just recently met. And I was only talking to her and she could meet up. So, um, I, I, and this is no, this is stupid, but this is me com being comfortable with, with the situation. So, dated her. Um, the girl Met up with the girl that I was talking to on the side. Um, and I, she met her up at, I met her up actually at my elementary school, uh, we were talking for a little bit, one thing led to another, um, she started performing oral stimulation, and it was the worst, the worst experience I've honestly truly had, and that's emotionally and physically as well, this girl performed the worst head I've ever had in my life. Her, her head was as bad as taking a lighter to the tip of a man's penis and lighting it. Just waving the lighter back and forth. That's how bad her head was. And how bad, as bad as her head was, it made me feel as bad as a person as well because I was doing something I shouldn't have been done, been doing with a person I shouldn't have been doing it with and getting a result that wasn't what I really wanted. Um, did not, it did not come. Um, situation, we actually just, it, she, something came up and she had to go, so she was throwing neck, performing oral stimulation, and I was cheating on my girl, and I was left with just a penis that was just still, like, just like, what had just happened? Like, it was as if she was dropping, a, it's like if she was dropping it, it, it's as she was sewing and putting the putting the, the sewing through the through the needle but the needle was the size of this so my my penis and there was there's was, there's was, there's was just no there's no room is that the, my penis was in her mouth and it was horrible like this like where where are the walls sweetheart you gotta you gotta knock it around you gotta beat it up and but no it was just so it was horrible and that's me telling my story in regards to me cheating on my girl um, for something that didn't benefit me, something I didn't like. I actually threw up after after all that. Felt so guilty. Um, and I got in contact with my girl. We were talking on, the, on a phone call. I just didn't feel comfortable. Didn't feel, and, I, and she knew something was up because I just wasn't there. I didn't, feel I didn't feel comfortable holding a conversation with a woman I actually wanted to hold a conversation with. But... Um, I ended up explaining it to her what had happened. She was actually going on a trip the next day. That she was going to be gone for the whole weekend. So I actually woke up early that morning. The next morning, I walked three hours to her house. Um, I lived in Egan, Minnesota. I walked through Egan, Burnsville to meet up with her at a park out in Savage, Minnesota. It took me three hours to get there. Uh, rain. I actually, it was the summer as, as I started getting closer to the place. To the location it started raining so i'm walking through rain to apologize to a woman that i wanted to keep building a relationship with it was only and i at the top of that i cheated on her one month which is so stupid like you guys only been dating for one month on the one month anniversary you cheat on your girl does not look good for me one bit um walk through hours to, to her house apologize I, I apologize do all this you know the sobbing and all that stuff crying because i had really done something that I really shouldn't have done, but I had emotions for a person that they were way, they were way deeper um, than the hurt that I actually caused. So, my guy, she, 
no one will ever know. Guys are stupid. Women cheat as well, and that's my next video. You guys see that shortly, and I explain my experience, past experience with women I know that have cheated and that still aren't open with cheating. I don't cheat anymore. I like to treat everyone the same. I'm not in a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm still developing, developing myself as a person. I'm uh, still learning the tricks and the trades, and still giving appreciation um, to the women I do bring into my life. And I'm single. I'm happy. To, I'm happy to be single, and I don't put myself in those situations, knowing that if I put myself in a situation, I may hurt someone. So I haven't cheated. Don't do it anymore. It's not my cup of tea. And because cheating's not cool. Hurting people is not fun. I don't see how Hitler did it. Ball means he had some big balls. Um, that motherfucker hurt millions and killed millions. So, more power to Hitler. Size of the whatever you want to say it. But, um, cheating's not cool. It's not my cup of tea. But, if you're not willing to go through obstacles to keep a person... And I ended up dating this lady for four years. So, cheated on the girl for one month. We rebuttaled. Um, and... We rebuttaled and stayed in a relationship. Obviously, there's a lot of obstacles we came over. A lot of rumors, people saying I was cheating on her. Friends that wanted me to be with her. And I was being honest. I told her, hey, I would never hurt you again. It's not my cup of tea. And I'm not going to do this because I know the outcome. And it's you crying when it's not, when, it, when it's the, when it's me, the one who, when it's me who calls you to cry. So, guys out there, don't cheat on women. Don't jump in a relationship too, too quick. Appreciate the woman that you want to be with and appreciate the person you want to be around because... If you don't give appreciation to that person, and if you try to do something else with another person, you'll realize that all the reason why you're with the first person is the reason why you don't go for any other person, anyone else. Give appreciation to the woman that wants to be in your life, rather than give appreciation to the, to the girls you, you want to you wanna jump into. Because you'll jump into the wrong woman, and you'll jump into a situation that just spirals out of control. And cheating on a person is just stupid. Don't ever be with someone that you can see yourself cheating on. Don't be ever don't ever be with a person if you're gonna cheat on them. Simple. Cheating is not cool. I've been through those obstacles, been cheated on. Um karma eventually bought, bit me back in the um in the insecurity in the insecurity field when I try to rebuild from a next relationship. And cheating is not cool. So guys don't cheat, women don't cheat. Um and if you do cheat, um don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her. Because that obstacles of just rebuilding a relationship when you cheat is stupid. So if you're going to cheat on a woman, don't cheat at all. And if you do cheat on her, don't tell her at all. <laughs> and that's not me giving you personal advice. It's just saying statement of fact. Don't cheat on a woman. And if you lie and you say you didn't cheat, you better have a pretty good lie because I'm not going to tell you the lies I've lied, I've lied about, but I don't lie anymore because I'm open. Don't cheat on women, guys. So this is my video in regards of why men cheat. Men are stupid, men are curious, and men always want more than what they can eat on a plate. And if she's the person to eat on the plate, and she can't, and she's overlapping the plate when you already have another woman on the plate, don't don't have don't fill two plates up. You have a plate that's already filled, and don't overdo yourself because um, women are not. Women are nothing to be played with. And same thing with men. Emotions are something serious. People honestly kill themselves off of hurt feelings. So don't ever treat a woman wrong. And if you do treat her wrong, apologize and do your best to treat her right. Because I feel like women are going to do the same thing for a man, which is treat them right. So do the same in return. Um, leave a comment below, guys, in regards of your story, who's cheated on you, how he's cheated on you, and how you've gone about rebuilding a relationship that that once fell apart because of cheating. Um, leave a comment or what I, whatever you felt that was knowledgeable of what I've said. Um, I'm honestly joking when I say don't, not to uh, tell you, if you cheat, tell your girl. Be honest because building honesty in a relationship when you felt like you did something that's wrong, you can truly not lose that relationship just because you were honest. If you lie, you'll, karma will hit you in the back in the long run and I'm definitely going to make a review in regards to all the karma that I have had in my life. But leave a comment below guys. Don't cheat on women. Men, stop cheating on women and start appreciating the women who want to be in your life. Again, this is Daenerys Lewis, Words Worth Listening. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share this on any social media. Uh, I do appreciate anything that is shared. I do notice this. I do get the notifications that people are sharing my videos. Um, and I appreciate this, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't cheat on women.